Right now I'm dog sitting my neighbor's dog. His name's Taquito. Love this little guy. Check he's, him out. He's a cute little fucker. Yo, Quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> Where's my Nacho Bell Grande? Yeah, dude. No. He doesn't know what I'm saying. He doesn't speak Mexican, apparently. Anyways, makes me think I should get a pet of my own. You know, something to cuddle with and also something to have just in case I get hungry when the apocalypse happens. Mm. You know, a twofer. Yeah, good call. <laughs> Number one, Babe the Pig. What? He is cute. Mm -hmm. He's tasty. Mm -hmm. Follows orders. Oh, yeah. La, la, la! <laughs> Son bitch! Dirty hog! Son bitch! Two! Two! Ewoks. More specifically, Wicked. He's the man, yo. He is. He's like Teddy Ruxpin on crack, ready to kick your ass. Yep. He's got fucking fighting skills all day long. You know, I, I'd like his do-rag. Mm. I would. I wonder if I could find it at the Walmarts. Actually, you can. On the indoor. Walmart on the indoor. Put that on. And work on my badass melee skills to fight the Empire. Yeah! Me now, ma, huh? <laughs> Number three. The dolphin from Sequest. His name was Darwin. He was smart. He could talk. And his handler was Jonathan Brandis, who I wanted as my best friend in high school. Also, he would be incredibly delicious. Jonathan Moranis, yeah, he is a... Uh, no, I mean dolphin steaks, dolphin tacos, dolphin taquitos, whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, chicken of the sea. I get down with that. <laughs> Number four, Harry from Harry and the Hendersons. He's big, he's strong, he can put you on his shoulders at concerts. He's freaking huge, he could punch a bear in the face. So true. And at the apocalypse, he has tons of meat and mm. tons of hair on him. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. And you can cut him open like a tauntaun and get inside him and stay warm. <laughs> Number five, Falcor from the Never Ending Story. Dude, he's a giant luck dragon who can fly and grant wishes. It's amazing. It is amazing. As a kid, I used to have dreams that I'd be on top of Falcor and riding through the clouds. Falcor. And then I had these other dreams that Falcor was on top of me and he'd be riding me and he would get hair in my mouth and he would tie me down with his hair. Make a wish. Oh. Oh, why, why do you want him as your pet? You know, because uh, he'd probably protect me. You know, given our history. <laughs> All right, should we get a pet? Absolutely, it needs to be something cuddly. Uh, you know, and something that you could, has a great skill set. Yes, of course. And something that tastes good when, when we have the apocalypse. Yeah, absolutely. In Russia, cuddly means to eat. Oh, well, that will explain a lot about your ladies. <laughs>